Hey guys, I wanted to discuss clickers with you today and how they're used in dog training. So what is a clicker? A clicker is a little handheld acoustic device that when you push the button, it makes a click. Now, how do we use that noise in dog training? Ultimately, what you're doing is you are what's called marker training. And a clicker is a really desirable marker because it makes such a clear and consistent noise every time you use it. However, that being said, there are tons of markers that you can use and we just want to make them as clear and concise as possible to, as not to confuse your dog. So a lot of times using a verbal marker is really great when you don't have these tools on you and you pick really short little words like yes or good that you can deliver in the most similar way possible when you're working with your dog. You can also use a whistle as a marker or you can use a pen light as a marker. But anything that you can deliver in a consistent manner is a good um, marker when training. So now how do we use markers when we're training? If we go back to the clicker, I like to point out that it's kind of like using a camera. So if you look at this little button as taking a picture when you push it down of what your dog is doing in that very moment, your dog is going to learn to associate this noise with reinforcement and realizing that what they did in that moment is what's getting them the reinforcement because they heard the click. So it's really important to point out that this alone, this noise is not gonna get your dog to do anything. Let me repeat that. A clicker will not get your dog to do a behavior. A clicker marks when your dog has done a behavior that you find desirable and you want repeated. So how does your dog know that when it hears this noise, reinforcement's coming for what it just did in that moment, right? How do they put it all together? So what we do in the very beginning, before we even start using the, the marker um, in training, is we're gonna do what's called conditioning the clicker. And all that is, is when you simply take the clicker and you take food and we're just going to click, feed, click, feed, click, feed. Doesn't matter what your dog's doing in that moment, you're associating a noise with food. Eventually you're gonna see your dog hear the noise and be like, where's the food? then you know a connection has been made and then you can start using it in training. So when you are training your dog, let's say we're going to teach our dogs to lie down. The second our dog lies down on the floor, you click because you're taking a picture of what that behavior looks like and you follow it up with a food reward. The dog knows what I just did when I heard this noise I'm getting reinforcement for. And that's how we start this method of communication with our dogs when we're using markers in training. We're creating feedback for our dogs where we're saying, yes, what you just did is what I wanted you to do and it's earning you reinforcement. Your dog starts repeating these behaviors and then you can name them and then you have behaviors that you're teaching that you can eventually down the road ask for. So hopefully that helps clear up anything about clickers and also helps you guys understand how to use them more efficiently when you're training your dog. Um, look for some follow up videos on on ways that uh, we use clickers. Um, there's different strategies on how to use them and that kind of good stuff. And um, I'll see you all next time.